We're trying to really do a video with every appliance we own going at the every same time. Every appliance is currently running. And the uh, and the um, you know, refrigerator freezer given its two cents. We're gonna make keto chow ice cream. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So today we're gonna make the most complicated recipe ever on the history of our channel. This is probably the most complicated recipe in the history of keto. This is so hard, not even Joe can do it. Seriously, this is gonna be the most ridiculously easy thing ever. So easy that we're not even putting a recipe down below or on our website. No. We're gonna make keto chow ice cream. This is very simple. Okay, and this is not our Vitamix version the way that we usually make it. This no. is regular ice cream. In an ice cream maker. So you need an ice cream maker, which is this thing right here. Now this one has a compressor. You don't need this one. This is an expensive one. I will put a link for it down below. We happen to buy it during like one of the Amazon Prime days. So we paid like 160 bucks for it, but normal price is around $300. What makes this nice is you literally press the on button and it starts freezing. You don't have to put a bowl in the freezer. You can make batch after batch after batch. I think it's funny that it's called a winter, but like W-H-Y, like why? <laughs> It's actually a very good brand. There's a lot of different brands out there. You, if you want to look for one, search for compressor ice cream maker. They're pretty much all the same. There's like Cuisinart has one. It looks identical. Um, so yeah, this one is great if you want to make batch after batch after batch. Carrie Brown recommends one from Cuisinart. It's like 80 bucks or something but like that. But buy two though so if you there's can make two a lot. of you. Yeah. But yeah, because otherwise one has to wait. So you ready to make this, right, this ice cream? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's what you need. You need some keto chow. Yeah, that should be first on your list, really. Okay, so now I have already over here, here's how you're gonna make this. I have a blender bottle. In the blender bottle, I've already added four ounces of heavy cream and I filled up the water to the proper mark. So Rachel and I usually fill it all the way up. For the ice cream, you really wanna use the proper amount and you really wanna use heavy cream because it's got a better flavor, it's much thicker, and also because this is a lot of water, if you add too much water, it comes out more like ice milk instead of ice cream. That's true. Real simple, go ahead. We're gonna make lemon, lemon meringue. meringue. Which makes a really delicious Ooh. ice cream. Try not to spill it all over the counter like I'm doing. <laughs> I just, this is not, I guess it is a difficult recipe. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna put the top on. And snap the lid. Yes. And go ahead and shake it. Shake, shake. You shake, can also shake, put this in a blender, but shake, when I'm using shake, heavy shake, cream, shake, we usually just do it like shake, this. Shake, shake, shake. Unless shake, we're making batches. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, you ready? Yes. Now here's what you're gonna do. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go put this in a refrigerator just like any other keto chow. Let it sit for a few hours, a day, two days, five days, whatever you like. Up to six days. Just go, or whenever your heavy cream is going to go bad. Right. Go stick it in the refrigerator. Let it get super thick. Let all those vitamins get mixed in. Let it get super delicious. We're going to put this one away. I've already got one that I've made up. Made it up early this morning, so it's ready to go. That doesn't look like lemon. It's not lemon. What is it? It's a surprise. <gasps> okay. Is it my favorite? Are you ready? Yes. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the top off the ice cream maker. Mm -hmm. We're going to take any keto chow that you've made with heavy cream. We're going to make sure my bowl is locked in. Go ahead and pour it in. Isn't that the best sound? And then if you're Rachel, you're gonna save this container to rinse out your coffee. Yes, don't be wasting the keto chow. Or you're gonna be like me and you're just gonna let this drip in here for like 20 minutes. Right, you just stand here. What's up, what's going on? Okay, now we're gonna take our lid. 
or again, if you have the bowl one, that even the one that hooks up to the KitchenAid, we've used that one, it works great. You're gonna hit the power button. You're gonna hit start. And we're gonna come back in 30 minutes when the ice cream is done. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. And uh, I did forget to mention, if you like to have junk in your ice cream, you know, junk like, you know, chocolate chips, maybe some high key cookies, something like that. Mm, yes. When you get about three quarters of the way through, when you can see it's starting to get that ice cream texture, you can open up the lid or if you have one of those ice cream bowl ones, pour in some of the stuff and it'll completely mix in. Nice. Okay, this bowl is probably not gonna hold it all because one of the things that we really like about Keto Chow ice cream is, Look at how much you get. Now, this is only about half of it. This is one keto this chow. This is shape. one keto chow because it just you know it adds that air in there, and look at that. Look at that. And then you get to like be a little kid. You know, like when you were a little kid and you used to like you know lick off the spoon when you know your mom made cookies or a cake or something like that. But the difference was dessert wasn't normally dinner. This no. is dinner. Nope. Now. There is a lot of water in keto chow, so you're gonna find that it, you know, it's got that little, it's it's got a good texture, but you're gonna have some extra that you're gonna have to like let it kind of melt off, and I'll show you what I mean inside here. Look at that! Look at that! This is a Rachel size serving. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna show you inside of this. You're gonna see inside, there's a little bit still stuck to the bowl because there is water in there. That's part of my meal. What you do is you can either let this sit and it'll start to melt off, you know, or what I do is just take this over to the sink, hot water for just a quick second. And as soon as it hits the bowl, you can then kind of scrape it all off. Yep. Are you ready? Always. Best keto chow flavor for ice cream. Second best, chocolate peanut butter is the best. Sink. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> this is root beer! Man, my <laughs> brain was working on me. This is root beer. Root beer makes a good ice cream. I don't hate it. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Root I don't beer hate makes it. a good ice cream. You may not like it as a shake, but it tastes great as an ice cream. It really does. That's how you make keto chow ice cream in an ice cream maker. Seriously, the hardest part about this is waiting 30 minutes That's for it to finish. That's a hard wait. But I mean, again, this is a nice serving. Now, a lot of times what we do is we actually make one keto chow and we split it as like a dessert. We eat it with our dinner. This way we get that fat, we get that protein, we get all of the nutrition that's coming in it, but we only eat a half a serving of it. So yeah. that's gonna be our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what your favorite flavor keto chow is, especially good it is. when it comes to keto chow ice cream. Now, mm. if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our other keto chow videos, which I'm gonna put right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every time we make something surprising but delicious, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.